Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to your first warm up quiz. Um, we're going to do these very similar to how we do them in class in that I will do two problems for you and then you will have an assignment on Google Classroom for two problems for you to do on your own. When you do and submit them on your own, you have two options. You can type your work out in a Google Doc or you can just do it on a sheet of paper like we do in class and upload that onto the assignment. Um, either one is good. If you have trouble with either of those two options, just send me a message and we'll work something out. Okay, today's warm up is going to be on solving systems using substitution. So this is something we've done um, about a week and a half ago. Um, and we're going to start with today's is going to be when they're both in slope intercept form. So when they're both in slope intercept form, we're just going to set them equal to each other. So if I look at number one, they're both in y equals. So I'm going to take 6x minus 1, and I'm going to set it equal to 4x plus 7. Okay. That's a little bit hard to see, so let me try using black. I have variables on both sides of my equation, so I'm going to move my 4x to be with my 6x by subtracting 4x. They cancel out to the, left, to the right. Then we're going to get 6x minus 4x, because they're like terms, they both have an x, is 2x minus 1 is equal to 7. Now, because my x's are on that left-hand side, I'm going to move the 1 over by adding 1. And 2x is equal to 8, so then we're going to divide by 2. And x is equal to 4. Now, we are in... A system so our answer is a solution which means we have to have an x and a y we have to write our solution as a point so we know that the x coordinate is 4 how we get the y coordinate is we substitute it back into either equation for x so I'm just going to use the top equation okay so I just need to see a little bit down my board and we're going to do y is equal to 6 in place of this x from the top I'm going to put four and then minus one and six times four is 24 minus one is equal to 23. So my final solution, which I want to write as a point, especially when I turn in my warm up quiz is going to be four comma 23. Okay. So that's your first one. Your second example, very similar. They're both in slope intercept form. So again, we're going to set them equal to each other. Again, my x's are on opposite sides. So I'm going to move the 6x to be with the 3x. And I'm going to do that by subtraction because it's positive. They cancel to the right. Be careful here, I have a positive 3x and a negative 7x, so I'm going to subtract to get a negative 3x. If you need a graphing calculator when you're doing your work from home, I posted a link to an app for your cell phones for you to kind of turn your cell phone into a graphing calculator to help you with that. If you have any issues or it doesn't work on your phone, let me know and I'll find another one for you. Okay, bring down the 13. Now, because my x is on the left, I have to move the 8. It's a negative 8, so we're going to add 8. Oops. 13 and a positive 8 is 21. Divide both sides by a negative 3. And x is equal to a positive 21 and a negative 3 is a negative 7. All right, so again, I just found half of my solution. I know that the x coordinate of my solution is negative 7. I'm going to substitute it back into either equation to find my y val uh, variable. So instead of using the first one, let's use the second one this time. It doesn't matter. You should get the same solution. So I'm going to have y is equal to 6. But instead of putting x, I'm going to put what x equals, which is negative 7 plus 13. 6 and negative 7 is a negative 42. 
plus 13. My signs are different, so I'm going to subtract and keep the sign of the bigger number. So the sign of the bigger number is negative. So my answer is going to be negative. Right? If I don't have a calculator, I can go over on the side and subtract. 42 minus 13, have to borrow, is a 29. So I'm going to get y is equal to a negative 29. So when I put my answer together, my solution is the point negative 7 comma negative 29. Okay, your two warm-up quiz problems will be almost exactly the same. You can watch this video as many times as you want. Please stay safe. Okay, stay healthy and I'll see you tomorrow. All right, bye.